Hey guys, Sam from Irons Outdoor, and today I have a pretty lengthy video for you guys. I'm going to be going through my entire soft plastic lure collection. Now, as many of you know, like my main, you know, favorite hobby is fishing, and it has been for years. So, after years of fishing, just all these baits just, uh, you know, pile up, and I end up with a ton more than I thought I'd ever buy. But uh, today, I thought I might as well just go through all of them. You know, it, it was snowing today; I couldn't really do a fishing video. And I thought some people might want to see some uh, of the lures that I have, so I decided to make this video today. And I understand that you know most people are not going to watch want to watch this entire video, so I'm going to have a comment down below that that'll have the time that I go through each of these boxes um, with like the name of the box. So maybe you just want to see my creature baits, then you can just go to the time, click on that, and just see my creature baits. Or if you just want to see my finesse worms or my swim baits or something like that. Uh, that in the uh, comment section down below and then also so first I'm gonna go through all of the different like uh, baits that I've organized here uh, in the different bins such as my panfish lures my stick baits and all the different categories and then I'll go through my uh, three kind of large miscellaneous boxes right here so I will go ahead and put these down here for the end of the video and I'll start going through some of these bins right here which is how I store my soft plastics so I got these bins right here um, at Walmart for 88 cents. They're really cheap. Uh, they're basically just a super, you know, cheap little container. And they work perfectly because you can just fit your soft plastics in them just like that. Um, they fit most soft plastics, you know, some larger baits. Uh, you have to put like this instead of like this, but uh, they work well for most baits. And the first box I'll be going over today are my creature baits. So I've got quite a few creature baits. The first uh, thing I have right here. The first bag of lures is this uh, Nico Helgramite, which these work really well for smallmouth. And actually, I don't even know if I've ever caught a smallmouth on them. But um, John from the Creek Fishing Adventures YouTube channel uses these all the time, and just you know they work amazing for bass and you know smallmouth, spotted bass, largemouth. They catches them all. So I have those. I have caught some red eye bass on these. I think that's the only fish I've really caught on those. The next I have a pack of tubes, which I honestly have never even used. I don't think. Uh, that's just the Bass Pro brand tubes. Next I have the Zoom Baby Brush Hog, which I really like these for a Texas rig, just a 4 rod hook and a 1 8 ounce weight. I have another pack of those. Uh, those were in the June Bug color, these were in the Green Pumpkin. Pretty much your two standard colors. Uh, I use the June Bug for dirty water and the Green Pumpkin for um, clearer water. And then next I have three packs of these Guggen Baits Bandito Bugs, which these are definitely my favorite uh, Guggen bait. So the first pack are in the natural color. And as you can tell, I've actually I've used pretty much all of these. And the next pack is the black and blue, which is a great dirty water color. And then another great dirty water color is the June bug, which if there's one, one bandito bug left in there, it might be kind of beat up, but have it in there just in case. And the next thing we have right here is the Zoom Z Craw Jr which is a great little creature bait and it is called a Z craw I guess but it's kind of more of a creature bait so have that right there um, definitely have we caught some bass in that before it works great on a little Texas rig and next we have the KVD baby rodent which I believe or no I didn't get these in a mystery tackle box I actually got these off tackle warehouse but uh, I've used this on a Texas rig before I've caught some fish I haven't used it a ton but uh, it worked well when I used it and then I have some more tubes. So I really, I got these in a mystery tackle box. I've never even used these. But uh, tubes are just something I'm not really, you know, familiar with and don't really know how to fish. So maybe I need to try them out sometime, but I really haven't used them before. Here's another mystery tackle box bait. Uh, I don't even know if this is. It's a Cabin Creek um, creature bait. It's just basically a Zoom Baby Brush Hog knockoff. Uh, it's a 5 inch, so maybe a little longer than this. Baby brush hog, and I have actually caught some fish on that. Next, we have some lizards in the tequila sunrise color. Uh, this is, I actually got these in a like Walmart challenge. My girlfriend picked me out or picked out some lures for me, and she got these pink lures. So I have caught one fish on that on these, but it was just in that one video. And besides that, I haven't really used those because pink lizards are kind of an interesting color. Next, we have these. Uh, Bass Pro Shops River Bugs, which I believe I got a kit with a bunch of these and just put them all in this bag. Uh, it's a pretty decent creature bait. I've used these before. I haven't used them a ton, but I've definitely, I think I've used them as a jig trailer and caught some fish on those. 
And then next we have these two baits that I haven't used either. This is the Reaction Innovations Kinky Beaver, I believe. Uh, yep, the Kinky Beaver. This is in the Hematoma color, which is a black and blue, basically. And then I also got them in this uh, other like chartreuse type color. But uh, these are pretty interesting baits. I'll take them out of the package. I haven't really used them, but they're, that's a pretty big, beefy uh, creature bait. Uh, I haven't really tried them out. Uh, I probably need to. Maybe this summer I'll try them out. I feel like those should definitely catch a big fish. But I actually, I got these on sale at Big Sporting Goods. It was a crazy deal. Uh, it was like, buy five, get five free, and they were 90% off. I think they accidentally had both of those signs up. And they didn't mean for that, but they still honored their prices, and I got like 10 baits for like $3, basically, so it was like 30 cents a pack. So that's where I got those. But, uh, anyway, I also got these Zoom Tiny Brush Hogs, which are just a micro version of the Baby Brush Hogs. Uh, I haven't used these a ton. I think I caught one fish ever on these. I just, I've really only used them once. But they, they didn't catch me one fish. Oh, and speaking of baby brush hogs, we got another pack of baby brush hogs in the watermelon red color. Uh, baby brush hogs are definitely a great lure. They're similar to like a double tail grub kind of because of the tails at the end they have. Which there's another, just one one left in there. But uh, they, they were great on a Texas rig as I mentioned earlier. And then next I have the Zoom Z Craw in this white pearl color which this is a, this is a full size. Uh, it's a four and a half inch. I've never used these. I got them for bed fishing, you know, in the white color, and I just never ended up using them, but maybe I will use them in the future. So there is a, the full box of all my creature baits. Now next I have all, this box is just Kitek. Kitek swim baits, so I have a ton of these. Since I have so many, I have like a whole, you know, it has its whole box. But uh, first, I've just got some of these Kitek 2.8 inch Swing Impact Fats. I've got these in a bunch of colors. I'm not really going to go through every single color. But y'all can just kind of see them there. Maybe if you really want to know the colors, you can pause the video and zoom in. But most of these are kind of, you know, I only have a few left in them. I should probably put all the ones with a few left in one packaging so it doesn't take up so much space. But uh, I have a lot of these Kitek Swim Baits for a reason. And that's because they work really well. I mean, these are by far my favorite swim baits. If you've never tried them out, I would definitely recommend them. Uh, now, these are the 3.3 inch in the uh, Swing Effect Fat. I have a couple of those. And I also have one pack in the 3.8 inch, which are a good bit bigger. Next, I have a few Swing Impacts. Uh, these are just the regular Swing Impact in the 4 inch. So they're, you know, a little bit thinner than those Swing Impact Fats. I don't really like these as much, but this is what they sell like more in uh, Dick's, well actually, I was about to say Dick's Sporting Goods, but my local Dick's Sporting Goods now sells zero fishing tackles, so they used to sell those at Dick's Sporting Goods. But uh, next we have some kind of easy shot or swim baits. We got some in the three and a half inch right there. Some more in the three and a half inch in the sight flash color. Three and a half in the perch color. Um, we got some four and a half, which I just got these. I haven't used these yet, but uh, I think this could definitely catch me a big fish this summer. And then I also got a few in the three inch, which I think I'm going to use for creek fishing. Just a couple packs right there. Uh, I think these should work pretty well. They're, the three inch are a lot smaller than the three and a half inch, but for a creek, I think they'll work really well. So those are all my Kitex swim baits. I'm just going to put them back in the bin right here. Alright, hopefully this video is not getting too boring, but next I have my swim baits box, which are also kind of my flukes and stuff. It's basically all my non Kitek brand swim baits. So th yeah, these are actually some flukes right here. These are the uh, 4 inch zoom fluke in the uh, baby bass color. I think those work. I haven't used these a ton, but they should work well on a drop shot. Um, next we have some uh, Strike King Rage Swimmers. Uh, these are basically just a copy of Kitex swim baits, and those are in the 3.25 inch, which are pretty much a 3.3 inch size. Next, we have I don't even know what these are called some KVD swim and shiners, which I think I used once when I ran out of Kitex swim baits. But besides that, I haven't really used them. I used them as a jig trailer and caught a few fish. Next, we have the Mega Bass Haze Dong Shad with 
which I just bought uh, recent, or actually I got them for Christmas. And I used them recently, caught quite a few fish from those. We got the Strike King Caffeine Shad. Uh, this is the Junior, the four inch size. Those are just the like white color, and I also got some of the baby bass color. With, I actually like these more than flukes. They have a lot of action, and they're a little more expensive, but I really like those for pond fishing. I also got some pink flukes because I think I used to watch a guy named Chris Bula, uh, Bula or something. Um, he was friends with like John B. and Perrick, and he used to fish with them a lot, and he used these for bed fishing. Which I bought these for bed fishing, but I haven't even really used them before. I think I used them once, but didn't catch anything on them. Next we have a little mystery tackle box bait. These are just some little big bite baits, swim baits, which those look like they work. I just I haven't really used them before. And then we got these huge um, copies. They're from Fish and Care Package, but they're a copy of the Caffeine Shad. And I believe these are the seven inch size. They're huge. I still haven't used these. I would need a humongous hook for these, so. I don't know, maybe I'll use these one day, but they are giant. So there's all my flukes and swim baits that are not the Kai Tech brand. Now another line of soft plastic lures that I really like, as you'll be able to tell from this box, are the Rage Tail products. These are just, um, this whole box is just Rage Tail. And I've actually got another little chunk of baits right there, but I'm not gonna go over those in this video because I'm sure there's some of those in here too. So the first thing we have right here is the Baby Rage Crawl. This is by far one of my favorite um, soft plastic lures ever. I love using it on a Texas rig with a 2 watt um, EWG worm hook and just a little 1 8 ounce weight. And these work really well. Um, they're they are very similar action to a double tailed grub, but I just really like these baits and I mean they catch a ton of fish. So I also have those in this plum crazy color I believe. And then I've got them in a black and blue color. And I've got some rage tail chunks right here, which all the ones that are right here are either baby rage crawls or rage tail chunks. But these are the rage tail chunks in the black and blue color. I've caught um, two five pound bass. That, like, this, I had this one amazing day of fishing where I caught two five pound bass on a black and blue jig with these as the uh, jig trailer. So I really like these lures, those uh, rage shell chunks. Next we have this little rage menace, just in the green pumpkin color. These work pretty well. All these um, rage shell products have little like indents or kind of uh, like extruding plastic at the end of the tails and they just have amazing amazing action in the water. If you've never tried out Rage Shell products, I would definitely, definitely um, recommend that you give them a shot. These are just the regular size Rage Crawl, which I don't use as much. They have like the same action as um, the Baby Rage Crawls, are just bigger. Next we have the Rage Shell Space Monkey, which I've caught um, a pretty decent sized fish on those before. And I've got another pack of the Rage Crawl in the June Bug color. Now this is the Rage Denny Crawl, which I've used once, uh, it's not really as good as the Rage Crawl, but this is just in the Bama Crawl color, it's got kind of a brown, or like an orangish on one side and a green pumpkin on the other. Next we have the Rage Tail Structure Bug, which I think I, I haven't really used these before, I think I used them once. I gotta give these another shot, but they're pretty similar to a Bandito Bug. I think the Bandito, the Guggen Baits basically uh, copied this a little bit. Now we have some more mini rage crawls. Those are just in the white color. I use these for bed fishing. These work really well for bed fishing. It's a really small bait, and this uh, this fish on beds can get the get that smaller bait in the mouth a lot easier, and it works really well. We have another pack of mini rage crawls in the uh, bama crawl color, which I I forgot <coughs> I forgot how many packs of those things I had, but they're one of my favorite soft plastic lures ever. So. There's a reason I have a lot of them, and they've caught me a ton of fish in the past. Next we have the shaky head worm box, which this is really not all shaky head worms, it's just like larger worms that I had to put, um, you know, like this way instead of this way because they're so big. But there are a lot of shaky head worms in here. First thing we have right here are the zoom trick worms in the uh, green pumpkin green color, which this is like my favorite color of the Zoom Trick Worm. This is another bait that I have a bunch of because it works really great on a shaky head. Definitely one of my favorite uh, all time, another one of my favorite all time baits. Uh, next we have the Zoom Magnum Shaky Head Worm. I haven't used these too much. 
They're kind of similar to a trick worm, but kind of like skinnier at the end. Maybe, maybe have a little more action, but I kind of just prefer the trick worm over those. Here's another worm, color of worm, or another worm I really like. This is the Zoom Swamp Crawler. I believe this pack is just kind of a, has some different colors, some uh, June bugs, some red bugs. But uh, I really like these on a smaller shaky head too. Here we have some more Zoom Trick Worms in the uh, June bug color. Oh, I don't even know why these are in here, but here's some KVD OPT Super Fries. I haven't really used these. I think they're supposed to be kind of a bed fishing bait. I, well, I did use them once on a Texas rig and caught a couple fish, but I haven't used them that much. There's another pack of the Zoom Trick Worm in the bubblegum color, which I use these a lot. They work really well. Just on like a 3 op uh, EWG worm hook, weightless. Like if you fish them like that and just twitch them around uh, for pond fishing, those work really well actually. And here's another pack of the Zoom Swamp Crawlers in the red bug color. Here's another pack of the Zoom Trick Worm in the white color. Here's yet another pack of the Zoom Trick Worm in the red bug color. And then another pack of the Zoom Trick Worm and the uh, Green Pumpkin Green again. Another pack of the Zoom uh, Swamp Crawler in the Red Bug color. As you can see, I really like some of these lures. <laughs> I have a lot of them. Another pack of the Zoom Swamp Crawler in the June Bug color. And then I have these, which are the Zoom Z3 Original Zoom Worm in the Prism Shag color. So I haven't used these a ton. Well, actually it was a 10 pack and there's only like five of them in there, or maybe six, but I've caught some fish in these on the drop shot before. They definitely work pretty well. Pretty much all these zoom worms work really well, and I have a ton of zoom worms. All these little finesse type worms. Another pack of the zoom swamp crawler in the uh, morning dawn color. Which, so if you haven't tried these out, these are like super cheap. It's $4 for a 25 pack of finesse worms. You get a ton in there, and they catch fish, which is why I have so many packs of them. Here's a bait I've never used. This is the Zoom Magnum Trick Worm. So it's a seven inch, I believe, or maybe. I think it's a seven inch, like fat stick bait, basically. Uh, I haven't ever used these before, but uh, I mean, they look like they could catch a big bass. I'm sure they'd work. Maybe I'll use them eventually. Here's the Zoom Ultravive Speed Worm. Never used it before, but looks like a solid bait. Maybe I'll end up using it uh, sometime. Oh, here's the lure that I actually, I used to really like this lure. Uh, it's the Big Bite Baits 5 inch sugar cane worm. This is in like the Vegas sunset color, but I think they don't have these at Tackle Warehouse anymore. But uh, they just worked really well in a little text rig for me. And uh, I really like those. I used to really like them. It's kind of an old pack of baits. And here's another pack of the Zoom Magnum shaky head worm. <laughs> I have so many shaky head worms and I don't need any of these. That's for sure. Any more of them. Uh, here's another pack of the Zoom Trick Worm in the watermelon red color. And uh, that concludes all the shaky head worms. So as you can tell, I have, I mean, the shaky head used to be, not as, like, I, mean, I still love it, but I used to fish shaky heads all the time. And I, I still do sometimes, but this winter I've been fishing a Ned Rig a lot more than I used to. So I've got been doing a little bit more of that lately than uh, shaky head fishing. Okay, so the next box of baits I have right here are actually not bass fishing lures. This is my uh, panfish and small plastics box, which, I mean, some of these definitely can catch bass, but they're basically kind of my smaller plastics that are mainly for other species. So first off, I have this um, Crappy Max little grub right here. Now I have some more Crappy Max little grub type things. I have these little yum grubs, which I don't think I've... I don't think I've ever really used those three. But I also have this Bass Pro Shops Squirm and Squirt, which this is a really old uh, bag of soft plastics. I, I got these a long time ago. And I used to go creek fishing with them. I think I just caught a bunch of different panfish with them, basically. Here's a new bait, which I actually, I guess I could have put this in the Kytex Swim Bait box, but since they're so small, I just kept them in the little smaller plastics box. But these are the two inch Kytec Easy Shiners. I, I'm yet to try these out, but I definitely think those will work really well. This box also has some little uh, just power bait, two inch uh, grubs right there. Some white grubs, and I have some more Crappie Max 
little tubes right there, which are basically the same thing as the squirm and squirts. Next I have my three little trout magnet kits. The first one is this trout magnet neon kit, which this is my second trout magnet neon kit I've gotten because I, well I lost all the hooks in the first one, they all like fell out. But uh, these are really great for trout, bass, and panfish. Uh, I've caught perch, which I guess are technically panfish, you know, bluegill, largemouth bass, and uh, rainbow trout, all of these lures right here, they work really well. And then I also got the trout magnet mini magnet kit, which these lures are so small. I mean, they're really tiny. I, I've tried them out once when it was super cold outside in a really small creek. Fish were going after them, but they're just too small to bite uh, even these tiny lures. So I, I kind of needed to try them out somewhere else, but I think they'll definitely work on you know a warmer day in the summer. And the next side of the trout magnet trout slayer kit, this is another great multi-species lure caught bass on them and I've caught a bunch of different types of panfish on them. They work really well. They're just some little like crawfish lures basically. Next I have some panfish assassin lures. I've actually I've seen John from Cree Fishing Adventures uh, use these before which is why I bought them and he's caught a variety of fish on those. And then I also got these little panfish assassin swim baits which I haven't even used yet or I think I might have used them a little bit but I didn't catch anything on them. And then another new bait that I just recently got from Bass Pro are these little uh, Uncle Buck's pan, uh, panfish lures. These are the Helgramite. It's a 2 inch Helgramite. Uh, definitely want to try these out. They should be able to catch bass, panfish, even probably trout too. Next, I have some little trout lures. These are just some panfish, or panfish, what am I saying? Power bait trout eggs. So I've used these before, I think I've caught a trout or two on them before, or maybe like one trout on the pink ones. But uh, that's about it. So those are all my little panfish soft plastics right there. The next box is a pretty filled box. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. This is my stick bait box, as you can see right there. So these are basically just like variations of the Yamamoto Senkos and uh, you know other brands. So there's some three inch Senkos. Here are some 4 inch Senkos, uh, I think pretty much anyone who really likes to uh, go bass fishing knows that Senkos work, work really well. There's a pack of the 5 inch, here is the Zoom Slinky in the green pumpkin color. This is Zoom's uh, fairly new stick bait that they came out with. Next I got the Zoom Magnum Finesse Worm in the watermelon red color. These are great um, wacky rig lures, and they also work well on a Texas rig. We got another pack of the Zoom Zlinkies in the uh, watermelon red. And then we got some more 5 inch uh, Senkos. I've got the Big Bite Baits uh, Soft Nico Wacky Stick. Uh, these are Senkos with a little like O ring already inside of them. Haven't used them yet, but I'm sure they'll work well. Definitely need to try those out on a wacky rig. Then I got the Yum Dinger. Definitely a great, a great budget option uh, instead of buying the. Yamamoto Senko. I got some more Zoom Magnum Finesse Worms in the red bug color. I've got some 6 inch Yamamoto Senkos right there. Those are pretty pretty big. Haven't used those yet. And I've got the Guggen Baits and Lunker Log. This is just the 5 inch in the uh, June Bug color. I've got uh, one Senko in there. Two more Zoom Magnum Finesse Worms. Uh, these are the Mystery Tackle Box, I believe. They're just the Ocho, the Strike King Ocho, the 4 inch size. I've got more of these 5 inch Senkos. This is in some type of a plum color, I believe. I've got more of the 3 inch Senkos right there. These I've uh, done creek fishing with, and I've caught even like red breast sunfish on those. As well as bass, of course. i got one more Gugan Bay Plunker Log. Another pack of Young Dingers. An empty pack, I don't even know why that's in there. And then some more young dingers. A couple more empty packs. Maybe I thought I was going to use those. Uh, I also got the Z-Man Zinkers right there. Just, uh, you know, Z-Man's 5 inch Senko style lure. Another, like more empty packs. A couple more young dingers. And then a kind of a weird lure. This is kind of a stick bait. Uh, it's a Lunker City Sluggo. I got this in a mystery tackle box. Never used it. 
But I've caught fish from pretty much every single lure in this box except for those Walker City grubs and I guess those big white baits I haven't used yet, but you know, I know those will catch fish. So there's all my sick baits. Uh, I love sick baits, they work really well for bass fishing. If you haven't, if you haven't tried them, then we definitely recommend them. Next we have finesse worms, which is another pretty big box. I really like finesse fishing, or I used to like it a ton, I mean, still really like it, but I kind of gotten into more uh, like finesse swim bait fishing now, but I still have a ton of finesse worms. The first thing right here is just this little Rains R&D fat worm, which is a Ned rig bait. I've used it once, worked pretty well. Next we have the Z-Man Big TRD, which uh, there's also a few regular size TRDs in there. We've got the zoo or the Robo worm, it's just a six inch straight tail worm, I believe. Oh, I dropped it, but that was in the desert crawl color. Next we have a couple packs of the Guggen baits. Uh, Rattling Ned, these work really well. They got a rattle in them. You can hear them right there. Uh, they work really well. They're not super durable, but they actually last quite a few fish. Nothing like the Z-Mans, but they still last fairly well. And then we got the six inch robo worm, the six inch fat straight tail worm, and the Aaron's magic color, obviously named after Aaron's, Aaron Martin's, but I still uh, like that color because it has my name in it. Then we got some six inch straight tail worms, or some more robo worms in the uh, morning dawn color. I caught my personal best smallmouth on these lures right here. It was a three pound, six ounce, six ounce smallmouth. So I uh, really like this lure. It works super well on the drop shot. Next we have some TRDs right there. There's a few on the bottom, you can't really see, but those are in the California Crawl, I believe. Then we got a couple packs of the Zoom uh, Finesse Worm, which is basically identical to the Trick Worm. It's just uh, a few inches shorter. Next we got the Zoom Z3 Swamp Crawler. I've caught some fish on these worms before. Probably not as many in this color, but I think I have another color that I caught a bunch in. Next we have another pack of those Zoom Finesse Worms in the June Bug color. Got some more um, Z-Man you know, TRDs in the Green Pumpkin. We got, I don't know why there's a random swim bait in this, but some of these Rage Cutar Worms. Which I guess I could have put this in the Rage Shell box, but yeah, I just kept it with the Finesse Worms. Next we have some Fat Baby Finesse Worms from Strike King. These work really well. Actually, I don't know if you can tell there's a hook in there, but I use these with a drop shot hook, just weightless on a, a wacky rig. So those work pretty well for kind of a more of a finesse wacky rig. Then I got some more Zoom Z3 Swamp Crawlers. That's in the bold bluegill color. There's only one worm in there, but uh, I, I used them all, so that means they worked well. Then I got the Zoom um, Z Drop Worm. This is a little a tiny little drop shot bait. It's worked well for me in the past. I've also got the Zoom, or not the Zoom, the Missile Baits Bomb Shot right here, another drop shot bait. Uh, I have caught one fish on those before, I think. I barely ever used them, but I've caught some fish on those. I got the Zoom U-Tail Worm, which is kind of a finesse worm, not exactly, but just a little, kind of a smaller ribbon tail worm. Then we got the Zoom, not the Zoom, I want to call everything Zoom right now for some reason. We got the Strike King KVD Dream Shot, this is a great... Uh, really great um, drop shot bait. It's similar to the Dragon Drop, the Guggen Baits Dragon Drop. They pretty much kind of copy this lure, I would say. Uh, it's really great. And then we got some Zoom Magnum Finesse Worms in here, which those could have gone in the sick bait box, but they were in here. So we got some more Zoom Z Drop Worms. Those are in the uh, watermelon, or the seedless watermelon color. Got one, one Robo Worm. This is the pack where I caught my uh, PB. We got these little meat heads, these new meat head worms. I've got so many finesse worms. And then we got the Ketchco Shimmer Shad, which is kind of a finesse worm. Uh, so that's all my finesse worms. Got a bunch. Uh, I you know, love finesse fishing. I used to really like finesse fishing. This is why I got so many of these finesse worms. All right, so this is my last uh, little container like this. This is my crawl box. Now, I don't have a ton of like crawls. I mean, I, they could kind of all be classified as creature baits, but this is kind of my crawls and my double tail grub box. So, 
I got some big bite baits, double tail grubs, and the tilapia magic color right there. Uh, I really love double tail grubs, as you'll be able to find out here soon. These are the Gary Yamamoto double tail grubs in the black and blue color. Those are the five inch. Some more double tail grubs. Some more double tail grubs. These might be the four inch. And then we got the Zoom, or not the Zoom, the Z Man. A uh, little uh, like TRD craw right here. I've used it before, I've caught a couple fish on it. But honestly, I just kind of prefer the uh, main rage craw. And then we got the Guggen Baits Kraken craw. Just a copy of the Rage Shell Corral, really, honestly. It's not as good as the Rage Shell, I don't think. Uh, and then we got some Chompers Double Tail Grub, the Skirted Double Tail Grub, and uh, a black and blue flake color right there. We got the Big White Bait Double Tail Grub again. This is in the June Bug color. And then we have two packs of the uh, Ultra Vibe, the Zoom Ultra Vibe Speed Corral. I've used these before, I don't really love them. I mean, I think I've caught a bass or two on them, but both of these packs are pretty full because I've never really used them. But, uh, I don't know. Those are all my craws right there, so... Not a ton, but I have a bunch of different creature baits. Which having more lures definitely does not make you a better fisherman. I just have compiled a lot of lures over the years and have a lot more than I need. Alright, so next we have three these containers just filled with a bunch of miscellaneous plastics. These are some lures that are just like either too big to fit in those other containers or just don't really use them as much. So first off we have some Berkeley Havoc Pit Bosses right here. I believe I got these for 75 cents a pack or at least most of them. Uh, it says $1.50 but it was actually 75 cents. So I got those in like Green Pumpkin Purple, Green Pumpkin Green, Black and Blue, and then this weird uh, I don't even know what color this is, it's a kind of blue and brown and orange, I don't know. And then we have the Missile Baits D-Bomb right here. I haven't used this one, one too much. I might have caught a fish on those before. Then we got these little Havoc, like, wacky worms right there. Kind of interesting little lure. I don't know if I've ever caught a fish on those. We got the Guggen Baits Trench Hog. These things are huge packaging. Could not fit those in any of my other boxes, as well as the Guggenbait Mondo Worm. Haven't ever used the Mondo Worm. I've caught some fish on these trench hogs before. I had like a three pounder on last summer, and he got off on those trench hogs, and then I caught some dinks, of course. But uh, anyway, we also got these Berkeley uh, bottom, or Berkeley Havoc bottom hoppers, basically just a copy of the Zoom Finesse Worm, and I just prefer the Zoom Finesse Worm. Then we've got some. Berkeley Havoc Grass Pig Juniors right here. We got three packs of those. I kind of prefer Kytex now. I got those a long time ago. Um, then we got the Berkeley Power Bait Chigger Craw. We got a skirted double tail grub right here. I think I got those for a dollar instead of two dollars. Some of this stuff I just bought cheap and didn't really end up uh, using that much. And then we have these Z-Man uh, Grass Kickers I believe. They're really big. I got them in a mystery tackle box. Haven't really put them to use yet. But... Oh well, that's everything that came that I was in that first big box. Alright, next, just another one of these boxes. First off, we have these. Stanford Bates Worms right here. I got these for free actually at the Bassmaster Classic last year at the Toyota booth, I think, oddly enough, but I got those right there. We got some Charlie's Worms, Swim Baits, uh, some Berkeley Power Bait um, Maxent uh, General Worms. It's just a Senko basically. These ones are super juicy and smell really bad, just like all Power Bait. There's some more little Lake Fork lures, some little Grubs right there. We got some power bait, um, river tail worms. This is another little mystery tackle box lure. It's just a smart baits fluke right there. We got these actually look like pretty good lures. These are the power bait shaky snakes. Uh, it's a little kind of Nico rig worm, or maybe you could fish on a shaky head. And then we got some power bait, or not power bait, net bait, uh, packa chunks right there. 
Some jig trailers, I kind of prefer the rage tail chunks, so I just have those in these boxes. Got some more power bait max scent, these are some creature baits. Got some zoom wizards, some Charlie's worms crawls. A lot of this stuff is like, this is from a mystery tackle box. I would just buy mystery tackle boxes and then not use the stuff, which is why I don't, why I don't have any more, which, which is why I don't buy them anymore. Got a random fluke just chilling. We got some uh, stick baits right there, some random ribbon tail worms, uh, some more zoom trick worms right there. This is the Okeechobee crawl color. Some more zoom uh, finesse worms. This might be like the oldest bag of soft plastics I have. It's pretty old. Um, <coughs> we got the zoom swimming dinger. Or not that's the yum swimming dinger. We got some zoom lizards. Some more zoom lizards, some young crawl bugs right there, and then big bite baits, uh, swimming crawl right there in the Okeechobee crawl color. I'm going through these boxes really fast just because this is not really stuff I used, but you know maybe you still want to see it, so I'm gonna include it in the video. All right, my last box right here, another one of these Plano boxes. First off, surprise, surprise, another Mr. Tackle Box bait that I've never used. Just a smart bait worm right there. We got some little Bass Pro Shops uh, three inch uh, or three and a half inch little stickos right there. These are actually pretty good on a Ned rig. I don't know. I, I definitely should try these out more. We got a Zoom tiny fluke right here. These would work well on a drop shot. I believe I haven't used them too much. We got another mystery tackle box worm. This is just little big bite baits, uh, squirrel tail worm. We got some biospawn stuff, which is you know some more mystery tackle box stuff. We got this rage tail uh, worm right here. This is another mystery tackle box thing. Another mystery tackle box lure that I never used. Uh, some young dingers right there. It's just kind of a weird color, so just threw it in this box of stuff. We got the Yum Craw Poppy. That, that actually looks like a really good craw. Uh, that would probably work well on like a little Ned Rig head. We got some Charlie's Worms, just little finesse worms. Uh, we got some uh, Zoom finesse worms in the bubblegum color. I think these would, these would probably work pretty well, just like weightless. We got some Zoom Dead Riggers. Actually, I used to really like these. I caught my first ever fish on a drop shot on these little 4 inch Zoom Dead Riggers. They work pretty well. I just I haven't used them in forever, but those are great lures. We got some orange swim baits right here. This is from a mystery tackle box. I don't ever see myself using bright orange swim baits for bass fishing, but oh well. We got some more young dingers in the morning dawn color. Uh, we got these V and M worms, which I actually bought these a long time ago. Uh, apparently they have pork fat like cooked into them or something. Yeah, pork fat cooked in. That's literally what it says, so maybe I should try those out. We got some big white baits, uh, Sanko copies right here. I just got cut off, but I was just saying these are a bunch of little big white baits, sick baits. I used to get these for super cheap, so I just used to buy those as like a cheaper alternative to a Yamamoto Senko. Got some weird Mr. Tackle Box lures. I got some Zoom little swim baits right there. Um, some black zoom finesse worms. I used to use these. I remember creek fishing with these um, and catching like four bass in this one little creek that now like is really hard to catch bass at. So I used to like this little lure right here. I, I, I fished on a weighted wacky rig and it actually worked really well. I used to, if you watch the YouTuber um, D Almighty, it's like D-A-L-L-M-Y-D or whatever. He doesn't fish anymore but his channel started off like, I think it's, he started off gaming and then he went to fishing. But he used to do like fishing videos with a black worm and I bought this because of him. But uh, now he does like treasure hunting videos. He has like 10 million subscribers. So he's like a huge YouTuber. But anyway, the uh, last bait, the last bait of this whole video is this little power bait ribbon tail worm right there. So those are all my soft plastic lures. I did get a little tired and out of breath after talking for like 40 minutes straight. Well, I took a break, but still, for talking for 40 minutes, I am pretty worn out. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it's like super long, 
And if you're still watching the video, thank you, because I know very few people are still watching this video. Uh, hopefully, some of y'all at least enjoyed it, just seeing all my lures. And I think it hopefully it was kind of helpful. I went through and I would mention lures that I really liked or lures that I really didn't like. And I mean, this could help you in the future if you're going to buy lures. I would just recommend buying all the ones that I said were really good. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But I will catch you guys on that next video. And as always, thanks for watching.